Hey guys, PK here. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I made my homemade crab snare. Um, you see some other videos where they actually make the crab snare out of like uh, maybe chicken wire, but you know, this bait cage, you can just buy from a store. Um, it's already made and it's nice and big. You can put a lot of bait in there. So I'm just gonna use this um, crab bait box. So that'll save me some time. Um, I got some snare on here already, so you can see, there it is. And I'm gonna put a lot on here, cause you know, I wanna have a good chance of hooking the legs. So, basically I have it tied to the uh, bait cage. And the, uh, there's your slip knot there. Um, so when the, when the crab legs get in here, and then when you pull up the crab snare, it's gonna catch your leg like that and you'll pull them up. Okay, so that's that's pretty simple concept. Snare, I'm using trimmer line. These are 0 0.065 inch diameter. And I'm also using this uh, 1 16th inch diameter loop sleeve. They're aluminum, okay? So let's do the first snare. And the good thing about making your own crab snare is you can put as many snare on there as you want. So that's gonna be long enough right there. That's about a, probably about a six inch diameter, okay? Through there. Then you're gonna loop back, something like that. And you're gonna crimp that right there so it's tight. Get the end there. Okay, and that's all you need right there. So you put this end through that loop, just like that. And you can put it anywhere you like. Um, I got three on this side, and looks like two on this side. So I'm gonna put one more on this side. Go through there, and then it's like that. Okay. Put the trimmer line back through it. Now you want to get this close to the bait cage. Okay, all right. So there's our snare. Right there. Okay. So when a crab get in there, when its leg get in there into the snare, you're going to pull it up. That's going to cinch it up and, you know, grab the crab. So that's the basic idea. Okay, so I got enough on here, I think. Um, I might add a couple more, but basically that's the idea. All right, so I'm gonna take this out to uh, Coos Bay and go catch some crabs. Hey, what's up guys, PK here. So we are here again, we're gonna do some crabbing. So these are the, the traps that I made, the snare at home. So I'm gonna test these out. I actually made two of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie them together and drop it down. So, this is the maiden voyage, first time. I'm gonna see how well this does. It's uh, early morning, um, sun is not up yet, daylight is just broke, and uh, it's very, very foggy, and um, very light wind though, so that's good. Late October right now, so the crab is still really, really good. Uh, they closed off the uh, bottom fishing for rockfish, so we can't go after that. Uh, Coos Bay here is still open for salmon, um, no, no Chinook though. I'm sorry, n no coho, but you can still like keep the Chinook. Uh, it's it's really slow right now for salmon fishing, but who knows? Cross our fingers, we might get some. So after we drop our pots down, after we drop the snare down, we're gonna troll for salmon for a little bit, and then um, about one hour and a half later, or maybe maybe as short as one hour, we'll pick up our pots and see what we can get. All right, guys, enjoy the show. Okay, there there we are, guys. I got them tied together with zip ties, so I'm gonna bait them up right now. Of course, I should have released a, a clip first, but that's all right. We're gonna put chicken, because if I put fish, the uh, seal's gonna get in here, and they're gonna drag this away. So, chicken, they tend to leave alone. Today, I got Mando with me. I'm gonna put a link to his channel, so be sure to check out his channel, okay guys? Okay, I think that's good enough. I got. See what happens. We got the chicken 
in the in the bait box. Yeah. Right here, custom made. Homemade craft snare. Homemade craft snares right there. Yeah. We're gonna drop the traps for a while. I use this trap on my mother-in-law too. It works really good. I know. You know, I, I, I want to really catch something this time. Look at if all that. You, if you don't catch it, or you know, well, if a snare doesn't work, you're going to have them tangled up so you'll never be able to get them out. <laughs> the idea. All right, I'm going to go use the rest of them really quick. That's a good idea, actually. Uh -huh. I might do that myself, too. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, let it drip. It's just blood. So, I'm going to use... Uh, which cushion do you want? I want <clears throat> Okay guys, we are ready. So, um once again just to give you an idea about crabbing here in Oregon, the best time is from September until uh December. So month ends with an R. And you can keep 12 the females you cannot keep and the males uh, must be five and three quarter inch okay and the uh, the red crabs you can keep up to 24 I believe okay so we are all baited up and we are ready to go so with this fog we have to have light huh today four to seven <laughs> Boom! <clears throat> yeah. Seals? Yeah. Okay, good. That's a good sign. guys there it is the moment of truth never used it before this is the very first time so let's hope it work I mean if it works on the mother-in-law it should work for crabs right there it is I have about a hundred pound rope tied to it and uh, next so I don't have a buoy for this so I'm gonna tie it to my crab buoy over here all right so let's try it out Please, fish god, help me out. <laughs> there it goes. All right, guys, the craft snare is down, crossing our fingers. So while we wait, we're gonna go about one hour. We're gonna troll for salmon. Okay, guys, so we caught about 10 salmon and we're kind of tired of catching salmon. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go pick up our craft snare. All right, it's been about 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah, here we go. Okay, here we go guys. First pot. <clears throat> First pole. So when you are doing this, going up, going up, going up, you want to be right over the pot if you can. And then once you get on top of it, go up. Oh, it's kind of fish. There we go. There we go, folks. Oh, 
angle. Oh yeah, look at that. Holy cow. Oh, no. Look at, oh my Lord. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> Holy shit. Holy mother. Come on. Look at this guys. Look at all that. Oh my Is that God. crazy or what? I oh told you. God. I told you we we're gonna get our limit today. This one? No, over the left. Over here? Yeah. Oh shit! This one. Holy cow, guys! Look at that. That is the biggest crab I've ever seen right there. <laughs> oh my god! Holy cow! We're going holy cow all over the boat because, to be honest, this is crazy. Holy! This is the best, best lift I've ever had. Okay, that is a male. What? What? Okay, right there. See, even that's legal. Look how small he is. That's legal. Okay. When you grab him, there are several ways to do it. You can grab him by it like this, mm -hmm. or when they're, sometimes they cooperate like that, okay? So you can just go right in front. They're not gonna pinch you, okay? Or you can grab him by the two claws like this, mm -hmm. okay? So e either way, most people like to grab it like that, but I'm crazy, I just go like that. Yeah. Wow, guys. Wow. Look, holy mother. Oh. They're all male. They're all male. They're all male. Well, except for a few. Okay, this one is legal as well. Look at this. Look at that. That's six inches. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is, this is well over six inches. So six... This is about seven inches. Look it. Jeez. That's how you measure from, from the inside to the other side. Just like that. Woo! This one is no good. This one's a keeper. See, when they get aggressive like that, just hold on, put them on the back of your palm like that, okay? Because they tend to be docile when they get flipped upside down. Then just go like that. Like this, this one is six and a quarter. Holy moly. That one's kind of purple. Yeah, that cool. is from the Fukushima radiation plant. <laughs> Not close. That's a female. That's a no-no. This one's a keeper. Look at this. Holy geez. Mother. Mother. Six and a quarter. Guys. This is an awesome, awesome trip. This is first pot. <laughs> first pot too. Oh my, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at that. That is, that is insane. Look at this. That's like seven and a half, almost eight inches. Wow. To grab that thing. Coast Guard. This, this is a hard shell. Holy mother. Okay, just grab it like that. When they uh, get flipped upside down, they kind of calm down. Another keeper. Woo! Are you serious? Woo! That's a male. You know how you can tell, Mando? When they're wide, right? Yeah, so that is uh, kind of thin. That's a male, okay? See, that's a female, the fatter tail. I'm gonna get more of you guys. Oh, look at this. Whoa, when they get grabby like that. Uh, Grab their claws right away. Once you grab their claws, they can't do anything. That's a business end right there. Mm -hmm. And then you can grab both claws with one, with your hand like that. You don't need to measure that guy, okay? I know. Look at, mm -hmm. oh my Lord. Nummy, nummy, nummy. There's nine. You can also pinch your claws together like that, okay? That's nine. 10, 
Holy cow, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, these are hard shells, holy mother. <laughs> I'm loving today, guys. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta sit straight, my back's killing me. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> This one, maybe. Uh, you can let go. I promise to let you go if you're not legal. <laughs> well, I'm keeping you. <laughs> There's 12. Are you serious? That's one limit. <laughs> Soft shells are no no. What's the difference? Soft shell, hard shell? Yeah, soft shell, they just molted so there's no meat. Yeah, what there is, is very little. Oh, wow. Ow! All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so we're gonna go down one more time, guys. Okay, where's that snare? Okay, snare time, guys. Snare time. Oh, nothing. Yeah, I don't think it's on the bottom. Oh my lord! Holy cow, look at that! <laughs> okay, hold on. Alright guys, so there is one big dungeness on that snare. Whoa! Jeez. Holy cow. Okay, is it coming? Did he get in the snare or did he get the... In the snare, see that? Right there. Okay, see, see, get a close up of that. See that, guys? One leg got caught. So, I would say that is success. That's a big one, too. That's about six, six and a half inches. Right there. See that? Bam. That's six and a quarter. So, it's about six and a half. So, not too bad. One crap. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna cook up this guy right, right here when we get when we get back to the dog. That's a hard shell too. The hard shell means it just has a lot of meat in it. All right. Okay. Cool. There was a success. Ow, mother. <laughs> Spicy little bastard. Okay. All right. That's a lot. Holy oh. cow. Not as much as the last one, but they are huge. Look at that. Wow. Holy cow, guys. Yeah, man. Good times, crab. Let me show you what we have after the first pole. So we have this giant one right here in the bucket. Look, this is a five gallon bucket, by the way, guys. See, that hardly fit in there. He's very uncomfortable in there, as you can see. That is the biggest crab of our uh, catch for the day. And here in this cooler, woo, check that out, check that out. Look at that cooler, it's a 42 quart cooler. Look how full it is, up to the rim. We got about six more to go, and then um, we have our limit. We're just gonna wait for another five, six minutes. We're gonna go pull it up, and I'm pretty sure we should have our limit by then. <clears throat> <laughs> this 
says, man, you just pulled my dick off. <laughs> Claws out first. <laughs> it's gonna be yummy, Lynn. Yeah. Okay, so we got these mussels. They're not very big at all, they're pretty small. But we're gonna cook them up with the crabs. All right, guys, there's our catch right there. We're gonna cook that up right now. First, we're gonna set up this uh, stove. There we go. Oh, Ross. Okay, guys, I got some uh, garlic here, um, rough chopped. And I got some mint and I got some Thai chili right there on the bottom, that red stuff. And uh, I got some butter right here. Um, Mondo got this for me. And of course, my Cajun seasoning. And Lynn is preparing the uh, mussels right now. Huh? High in cholesterol. there one stick of butter okay that's so good tastes so good you know mm -hmm. one stick of butter mm -hmm. all right guys there it is I think that's about ready we're gonna put in the uh, garnish that all that look at that and all that herb garlic and mint and Thai chili. Ooh, man, that smells good. All right, in goes the crab. But even my son, my 16 Really? Yeah, it's gonna be two batch. <laughs> this is... Yeah. Right there. I think it's going to be... There, where's our lid? Going to cover that up. Okay guys, so it's all ready to go. There it is. We're gonna, we're gonna eat this puppy right now. It smells really good. Here we go. Wait, is this freaking record? Yes, good. It's super hot. Mando. Muscles open yet? Yep. Muscles. Here's one more. Does your wife want any? Uh, I'll ask her. She'll say no. <laughs> Garlic, Thai chili. Um, that's it. And if if you want, I didn't put the seasoning yet, but if if you can, salt, pepper is fine. There it is. That is one of my favorite parts on a crab. That claw. 
meat from it like that. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. Had a great time out here. Looks like we just got back into the uh, marina just in time. The fog's rolling in, the wind is picking up, but it's all right. We're uh, having a great lunch out here. Hey Mondo, thanks for coming, man. Dude, yeah. Anytime. Appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate you having me. On. Check out his channel. I'm, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Okay. All right, guys. Have fun fishing. Tight line. See you next time. <laughs>